Hey lovelies, we're gonna be hooping again! I have a special series of videos coming up for you and it's time to get ready for the wedding season this year. So for all of you brides out there, get in shape and get ready to rock that wedding dress. And for all of us that are not getting married this year, well, not that I know about it yet. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Let's do it with them. Let's support our brides this year and let's get a kick-ass body with them. So I have five simple steps what you need to do to get in shape before your wedding day or your event. Step number one, get a hula hoop. I can't express how important it is to get the right size hula hoop. Forget about those children hoops. They are not gonna work for you. It's just gonna be painful. Don't do that. So go online, search it, google it. So get an adult size hoop. For beginners, I would recommend something between 40 to 42 inches. And in centimeters, that would be 95 to a meter. And it should reach when you stand somewhere kind of to your belly button, like this. Uh, if you want any recommendations, just let me know. They cost something between 40 to $50, around that, the best investment you can make for yourself. I promise, you will never regret it. <laughs> Step number two, watch these videos. I'm gonna be regularly post, regularly, wow, that's a tough English word. <laughs> I'm gonna be posting videos on a regular basis. <laughs> It'll be around 10 minutes and you will follow that video for a week. You can do it three to five times a week. You can do it every day, but three times a week minimum and it is 10 minutes, so be sure to Create those 10 minutes out of your day to focus on yourself because if you feel better in your body and your exercise and your spirit, you're gonna lift the spirit of everyone around you. Step number three, be ready to get a kick-ass workout. <laughs> By hoop dancing, you can burn 100 calories every 10 minutes. So start slow, really focus on those 10 minutes a day. I know it will be fun, so you will probably need to stop yourself from not doing it longer in the beginning, but in the beginning, really focus on doing it for 10 minutes a day. That is enough. If you're not used to exercising, that is the perfect time to start out with. And consistency is the key. So if you follow with these 10 minutes a day for, when is the wedding? April? Summer? I don't know, that means four to six months. That means half a year of work. And be ready to build up your strength, your balance, your coordination, your flexibility. And the most of all, be ready to have fun. <laughs> Step number four, drop the hoop. I said it in one of my previous videos, dropping the hoop is fun. If you never hula hoop before or as a child and it isn't working in the beginning, it's okay, don't worry, you're gonna get there. I remember my first few weeks, I couldn't keep it up. Uh, my family is doing it now with me, they couldn't keep it up, they're doing better now and be ready to drop it, it's part of your process. And as I always like to say, the process is where the magic happens. So allow the process to happen to be able to go through the magic. And step number five, relax. So even after those 10 minutes, take a couple of minutes to sit still or lay in your shavasana or just stretch a little bit and thank yourself for doing this for yourself and for everyone around you because we know the whole transformation starts with one single drop, right? Let's be that drop. Let's have fun!